In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create typography art easily in Procreate. I'll work with a photo from unsplash.com, which you can download along with the brushes and color palette through the link below. For more photo manipulation and drawing tutorials and exclusive brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. You'll find a link to it in the description to this video. Without further ado, let's begin! I've created a canvas that has the dimensions of the screen. And before we start creating the typography design, we need to make something called word cloud. Actually, we could try to do it on Procreate, but it would take plenty of time and effort. Instead, we will be using a free online service to create a word cloud. So let me open Safari and go to a website called wordclouds.com. As soon as it is opened, you will see a random word cloud design. The size of the canvas here is 1024 by 768 pixels. First of all, let's create a new word cloud. To do that, we need to go to File and select New Word Cloud. Click OK. After that, I will go to Theme. And in this list, I will select this option that has white background and one color. After that, I'll go to Colors. And in Cloud Colors, tap on the first square. Then change its color into pure black. Click Apply. To enter the text, we have a few options. The first option is to enter words one by one. For that, we need to go to Word List and click on the plus icon. Here you can enter the size of the word, then type the word itself and also color code. Another option is to open text file, open Microsoft Office document, PDF document and some others. I will use this one, paste type text. And here you can either type a text for the word cloud or copy and paste an extract from your favorite novel, poem or song. I'll be using this extract from the song in the end by Linkin Park. So let me copy it. Then I will click on this window and paste. Click Apply. Now we need to change the shape of our cloud. For that we need to go to Shape. And here you will see a bunch of different shapes. We can use letters, colorful shapes or upload your own. I will go to basic shapes and select square. Now I will slide this circle with zero to the right. 229. The bigger this number is, the more accurate shape you will get. Finally, we need to change the font. Here in the menu, I will open font, open the list and pick a font called Anton. I like it because it is bold. Let's click select. Then close this window. Also, we can change the direction of the words. We can do that if we go to this arrow and pick the direction. It can be horizontal, vertical or mixed. I will pick this one that has both horizontal and vertical. And this is the final result. We just need to save it. So let's open the file menu. And here in the list, I will select Save as image in HD quality. In file type, I will pick PNG and save. Mm -hmm. 
Once it is processed, we can click download. Then again. After that, I will go to downloads, tap on the image and save it. Now let's go back to Procreate and start working on our design. First of all, let's change the background color. I will pick grey from the palette. After that, go to the disk and double tap to select pure white. Let's draw a random cloud shape inside the canvas, using some texture brushes. We can start with Grunge Brush from Procreate Textures. I will paint a shape like this. And keep some distance at the bottom. Now we need to import the main image of our design. This is the girl portrait. In the beginning I'm going to desaturate it, using hue saturation brightness option from adjustments. I will just slide to the left on saturation, to set it to none. After that I will scale it and place inside the canvas. Let's toggle the visibility of the cloud and try to restore the hair, because the image is cropped on top. For that I will be using clone tool. In the brushes I am going to pick medium brush from airbrushing. Its size is set to 3%. Let's move the speaker up and draw this way to make the hair shape. I will go to the opposite side and add some hair here as well. Alright, we don't have to be very accurate, because later we will erase it using textured brushes. The image is fine now, we can continue working with it. Let's bring back the cloud shape. And clip the inserted image to the cloud. I will scale it even more, make it smaller and move it up. Also place it in the center vertically. And now we can adjust the cloud shape according to the image. For that let's go to the layer with the cloud and to paint splash brushes. I will first select dry brush and make a few strokes. to create these painterly edges. We can also continue the portrait going a little down. Now let's go to eraser. And I will set it to splatter brush from spray paints. Its size is a 23%. I will make a few strokes to erase the shape. It may also go a little inside on the hair. All right. Now we can add more strokes with other brushes. I will be using paint splash brushes, just tapping on the canvas and rotating it to get these splash shapes.
you can try different ones and see which one works best for you or even use a few of them just like me we can totally try to use splatter brush from spray paints as well I'll make a few strokes you can just switch between eraser and brushes until you get the desired look that you will like we can actually try to use a paint splash brush as a razor to tap once somewhere on the girl All right, I think I will keep it like this. And now we can import our word cloud. So let's go to the top layer, then to actions, and insert the photo with the text cloud. I will drag it a little down. After that, I will change its blending mode to darken. Or darker color they work exactly the same so now we have black text without any background because all pixels were replaced with black all right now we need to place the text in a nice way we can even try to rotate it to 90 degrees clockwise because our words are located in two directions so it will also work all right i'll place it here after that i will add a layer mask to this layer so i will open this menu on the left and select mask Then I will grab your black color and grunge brush from textures. Using black color, we can erase the text. To reveal the girl. We can also make a couple of strokes on the text to texturize it a little all right now let's duplicate this image together with the layer mask i will go to the image that is on top make sure you are not on the mask layer click here and invert it after that i will change its blending mode to lighten so we will remove the black background and get white text let's also work on it so what i want to do is to keep white text on black areas and vice versa so i will go to the layer mask for the white text and select pure black I will start erasing it on the light areas to reveal the dark letters. So I'm erasing it here on the arm, on this white splash, on the opposite side, and actually here on the background. I will keep it white on this gap. Here on the hair I want to make it slightly visible. It doesn't have to be readable. It's just a part of our design. 
and if you want to restore the text you need to switch to white color so on the hair it can be white all right this part is also done let's add some colors so we can create a layer on top of all layers and in the palette I added two colors that I'm going to use. First I will select this violet. In the brushes I will pick soft brush from airbrushing and draw a color spot somewhere here. After that I will blur it using Gaussian Blur. At around 37.8%. I will also change this layer's blending mode to color. We can try to scale it and place more on the face. So it also covers the white part and half of the face. Let me now create one more layer and select this pinkish color. I will draw another color spot a little lower. After that I will also blur it using Gaussian Blur. This time it can be around 42%. But these values will depend on the size of your shapes. So you may want to adjust it. This time I will set the layers blending mode to color dodge. We can also try to scale it to cover a bigger area and move a little, so it goes a little on the face. Now let me select pure white from the disk again and I will create a layer right above the background. With the same soft brush, I will draw a white spot here. Maybe another one here. Then I will blur them both. At around 34%. If you want to experiment, you can add more colors and try different blending modes. All I want to do is to add a shadow at the bottom. So let me first select all the layers and group them. I'll just scale the group so it goes a little upper. And I have more space for the shadow. Alright, now I will create another layer. It can be located above the group. And I will select pure black. First I will pick monoline from calligraphy and draw a circle somewhere here. Tap on the canvas so it becomes perfect and fill it. Now let's blur it a little with Gaussian Blur. Here I did it at 29%. After that I will go to Transformation and switch to Freeform. Let's stretch this circle to the sides. And then flatten it. Okay, I think we can add another small detail. So I'll pick pure white again and create a layer below the group. 
I will pick Stars brush from the set. It's in full size and opacity. I'll just make a few strokes on the canvas. After that I will apply Gaussian Blur on this layer as well. Just a tiny bit. Around 3%. And now our design is complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Also consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching and see you soon!